Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be the next installment in my series of how to design and print useful things using Fusion 360 in your 3D printer. Before I begin, let me say that I have started a new website called 3dprintingtheworld.com. It is designed to be a companion to this YouTube channel where I will put STL files for things I've designed, Cura profiles, images, links to cool stuff, links to sales, coupon codes. Uh, I have a small blog there if I think I need to say some things that I don't say here. And um, yeah, that's it. 3D, 3D printing the world.com. I'll put a link below. I'm not a professional web designer and this is new. So if you pop over and take a look and I encourage you to, you know, try and be nice. But you know what? I've got a thick skin. So even if you don't, that's okay. So let's get on with it. I had originally planned for this to make a pocket holder for this Juice XE6, which I like to carry around because it's got a little bit of everything on it, things like a brick. But then this came into my life. This is a cheap Ozark Trail can cooler. You screw the lid off, you stick your beverage can inside, you put the lid back on, and now your favorite beverage is kept cold and safe. You've probably seen me drink coffee out of this. This was one of the first things that I printed from Thingiverse way back when I got my first Ender 3. Uh, it is inside, it is a, I think it's like a 11 or 12 ounce um, highball, insulated stainless steel highball cup. And the shell is just printed by, designed by Commando Design and printed out of PLA. And you just shove them together. This has been great for me. It's got a nice big handle. It um, has a lid that can go on it. I drink all my coffee out of this. No matter, I can take it with me out in the Jeep. The only thing I really don't like about it is the handle design. He's got these ribs in it. See if I can line it up with the camera. It's just not going the way I want it to. And there it is. You can maybe see the ribs in that handle. If um, you're like me, there we go. If you're like me and you grip the handle of your coffee cup tight, this thing is like gripping a handful of gravel. I've meant to redesign it, but you know what? It works fine the way it is, and um, I've got more important things to do. So, but let's make one for this. So I'm going to pop you over to Fusion 360. Let's pop over there, and here's Fusion. And I'm also going to make this video in multiple parts. I'm going to try and keep these down to no more than 15 minutes. So let's start by creating a cylinder. And up here, up in my design cube, my view cube, I'm going to right click and make sure I'm set the perspective with ortho faces. But, you know, plan on it switching that back on me several times because it just likes to do that. So let's start by creating a cylinder. So create a cylinder. It wants to know what plane we want to create it on. I'm going to click this bottom plane. If I had a surface of a part, I could pick a surface, but I don't. So I have to pick a plane. So I'm going to put my pointer in the center until it locks in. I'm going to click with the left mouse button. I'm going to drag out. And I measured my little cup. It measures 80 millimeters outside diameter. I want three millimeter walls. So 83 and three is 86. So let's make this 86. Enter and enter. And how high do we want to go? And I know that I want to go 95 millimeters high. I want to come up just below the joint where it screws together. Now, if you're wondering how I'm moving things around, the right mouse button lets you, if you hold it down, it lets you rotate your part around. The middle mouse button, if you hold it down, lets you move up and down and side to side without rotating. And of course, the mouse wheel zooms in and out. So we have a cylinder, but a cylinder is not enough. So what we need to do is we need to make a shell out of it. Since I like to design the way things print from the print surface up, and I know this has to print upside down. So I am going to come to the bottom, which is actually the top, since it does print face down. I am going to come up to Modify. I'm going to click Shell, and now I'm going to click on that bottom surface. I could drag my pointer side to side, 
to decide how thick I want my walls. And you know, the bottom is getting thicker as well. But I know I want three millimeter walls. So I'm just going to type three and hit enter. And there is my basic part that I'm going to shove my, my can cooler down in. A couple features I want on this though. First, I want a bottom on it that will do two things. One, it will help me keep me from tipping it over. And it will also make it so that if I set it on an uneven surface, it won't be wobbly. So to do that, I need something wider than this and I need it to be hollow. So how am I going to get that? I'm going to come to, to create and extrude. I could also hit E on the keyboard and I'm going to click this bottom surface and I'm going to drag it up 20 millimeters. Now, in and of itself, that's not going to do me any good at all. So I'm going to come over here to my extrude toolbox and I am going to go to taper angle where it says zero degrees and I'm going to give it 35 degree taper angle. Now that might look kind of much to you, but I am going to put a little bit of a fillet on it, which will make it narrow at the bottom. I am going to say OK. And now I have my basic shape. I also want to shell this as well. So once again, let's click Modify and Shell. And this surface here, I'm going with three. So let's stay with my th th three wall thickness and hit Enter. So now I have my basic shape with my hole I can shove my can cooler down in and my anti-tip, anti-wobble bottom. But I got a small problem still. This bottom here, if I print face down, this bottom floor here is going to require a great deal of support. And I have no need for that, and I don't like support. So I need to get rid of that. So, I, But I need to leave a little bit of it because I don't want to be able to shove my can cooler all the way through the bottom. So let's think about that for a second. How are we going to get rid of that and leave enough? Let's start with a circle. Let's click Create a Sketch. Let's come to our surface. I could do this from the inside surface as well, but I just think it's a little easier to do it from this one. Let's click on it. I need a circle, so sketch a circle or C on the keyboard, either one. Center diameter circle. Move your pointer down till you lock into the center. Click and draw out. And I want to, <laughs> I'm going with three millimeters, so I want to leave three millimeters of it. I have an 80 millimeter inside diameter. I want two three millimeter walls as far as my diameter is concerned. So three plus three plus six is six minus or 80 minus six would be 74. 74, I'm going to type it in. I'm going to hit enter, enter again to lock it in. Now I want to cut this piece out. So create and extrude or again E on the keyboard. Click it. I could tell it three millimeters. I could type three millimeters over here. For distance, I could say uh, two object or all, but because I'm just going to drag it down because in this case, it really doesn't matter. It's going to say cut. I'm going to say OK. Now I have a three millimeter ledge there that's going to keep me from being able to push my can cooler all the way through. But that ledge still has a 90 degree angle on the bottom of it, which means it is not going to print very nicely. I have to fix that. So let's come around here and let's zoom in on that edge. And that edge is this one right here. So to fix that, I'm going to come up to modify and chamfer. I'm going to pick and watch out because there's a lot of edges here. You got to be sure you're on there. See, that would not be the right one. That one is. Click it. I know since I had three millimeters out at 90, I'm going to want a three millimeter chamfer because I want it to go the whole distance. So three and enter. Okay, now that you really can't see the change, but now that is a 45 degree angle probably. And um, now it will print when it prints upside down like that. So how long have we been? I am trying to keep these down to 10 to 12 minutes each. So here is our basic shape. We could print this out right now. It would print out perfectly fine. Notice my shadow down here is the bottom. 
it was good if, if I save it and print it like this and open it and cure it, it's going to open like this and it will print just fine like this you could shove your can cooler in it wouldn't tip but you know what I want a handle on it so we're going to stop here for right now and we're going to come back next time and we're going to put a handle on this and we're going to add a few other embellishments too so join me again in the next video if I have helped you out or you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I have some affiliate links below. They won't cost you any more, and they sure do help me out if you'd use them if you're buying anything from GearBest. And um, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.